a point. Um, we're shifting gears to indigenous representations in BC. This is Dr. Robert Harding, Associate Professor of the School of Social Work and Human Sciences, University of the Fraser Valley, Canada. His principal research focuses on media discourse about indigenous self-government issues at local, national, and international levels, entitled Indigenous Representation in BC, Past and Present. So, looking at British Columbia, we have a pretty interesting 
interesting situation in British Columbia in that it's, uh, unlike in the rest of Canada, no treaties were signed in the province, except for a few very small treaties on Vancouver Island between 1849 and 1854 by James Douglas. And then, of course, he went back to the Crown of Civil League to actually provide some you know, pony of some resources to uh, settle these treaties. And of course, uh, once the Crown realized this, well, you mean we actually have to you know, pay these people some money? <laughs> We're not going to do that. So, so that kind of ground to a halt. And, uh, and then the next treaty was signed was the Michigan Treaty of 2001. So essentially what you have is traditional unceded territory. And the Crown uh, in British Columbia has not, uh, I guess in legal terms, has not extinguished Aboriginal title. And the, the Michigan Treaty is not part of, you may have heard that there's an EC Treaty Commission, a 3C uh, treaty process, not part of that process. So in British Columbia, uh, the indigenous peoples have always fought to have their land claims resolved. So it's not a new thing. Uh, but were prohibited by the Indian Act from hiring lawyers until 1951. So uh, thus, the land claims uh, were ignored by the government through the hard economic times of the dirty 30s and the Second World War. And I have a video clip, but I'm not sure whether it's going to uh, play or not. I think it's about a 20 seconds featuring. Frank Calder of the Michigan Tribal Council about 50 years ago, talking uh, with passion about the land issue for all the nations. So I'm just not sure if this is Does anyone hear anything? Well, it's not actually. Yeah, so in terms of saying it was very well. Technologically capable. <laughs> Where I wish I had my 15 year old son. That's right. You might run out of your own sons. Yeah, probably. <laughs> crazy. So if you tell the house, it's smoked. It's great. Don't scan on it. Which is trying to. Watch out, it's getting so loud if it comes on, it's going to blow you. Yeah, I think it's just not picking it up. So, is that going on, though? It's not that. 